So one of my favorite examples is using scandal, right? We open up scandal hearing from two other people talk about Olivia Pope. One of them is the trusted source. How does a writer introduce a protagonist in a way that makes the viewer or the reader want to follow that character? Yeah, good question. I actually did an entire workshop on how do I, and I call them how the F, right? All of my workshops are in the <laughs> what the F workshop series. <laughs> so okay. this particular workshop was how the F do I introduce my protagonist, right? And there are a million ways to do it, but what we're looking for is what information are you going to give me about them in their normal life that makes me like them or relate to them? I don't have to do both. It's 2021, so I don't have to like the character. They can be totally unlikable, but something about them has to be, uh, I have to be able to relate to in order to care enough and invest in them on this journey. So um, I use the word social proof. And basically what that means is prove to me, going back to the evidence, right? Prove to me who they are on the page, whether that means we're receiving information from someone else or we're watching them do the thing. Because just like regular human beings, you can only take what they say about themselves with a grain of salt, <laughs> right? So I can sit here and go, I'm an expert, I'm an expert, I'm an expert. But unless you actually hear me giving my expertise on something or you hear from someone else who you trust who says, Shannon is an expert, then you're probably gonna say, I'm not one. So on the page, you have to then show us that your characters are whoever it is you want us to believe that they are. So one of my favorite examples is using Scandal, right? We open up Scandal hearing from two other people talk about Olivia Pope. One of them is the trusted source. The other one is the fish out of water who already has some kind of admiration for Olivia Pope, right? So as we're hearing them talk about Olivia, they're putting her on this pedestal. And now we are therefore intrigued to go, well, who's this Olivia? Like, I wanna know her, she seems cool. And then in the next scene, Olivia now has to live up to the thing that we just heard. So now you have to show us in action. They could have gone to the next scene and Olivia was just sitting there having a meeting, talking you know, on the phone to herself. But instead, they put her in a situation to show her social proof in doing her job. And so hearing from those other people first and then seeing her actually do the thing is what made us want to journey with Olivia Pope. So the same is true for your characters. There is no particular kind of formula, but what I will say is you got about five to seven minutes to get me engaged with your protagonist. Um, some stories won't start with the protagonist, which is fine, but that means if it didn't start with the protagonist, and then we meet them, you have less time to get me to like or relate to them because I'm already X amount of minutes into your film. So for example, I'm teaching from Armageddon right now, right? We don't meet Harry Stamper, I think it's Stamper, until like page 10, which means we are, we've been here for 10 minutes already because we got our inciting incident on page two. So that means the urgency is already there. They're already making up a plan. By the time we meet Harry, I only get like three pages to really understand who he is and jump into action with him to decide to invest in him. So now you have even less time because I'm already 10 minutes into it. But either way, whatever it is, I see them doing first. So you can't be um, generic about that. Like oftentimes I will read a screenplay and it's just, oh, such and such woman who's beautiful is cooking breakfast. And it just seems like she's cooking breakfast because she needs busy work in the kitchen not because cooking breakfast teaches us anything about her, right? Is she cooking breakfast because she's a stay-at-home mom and she's in her pajamas and she has to get up early even though she's gonna be at home, but because she's gotta get husband out, she's gotta get kids out and she's getting it done? Or is she career woman who's cooking breakfast so she doesn't really have much time because she's on the phone at the same time and she's just trying to get something in and it's a smoothie and she's running out? Or is this Saturday, the only day that she gets to you know, relax and she's making brunch because her girlfriends are coming over? Like, what does it mean? And what am I learning about this person as they're cooking eggs? Because if not, they could be doing something else. You know what I mean? So every single piece of information that I get in those first five to seven minutes are gonna help me know who they are. And that's prime real estate. And a lot of people pass right through that prime real estate by doing the uncle such and such thing. 
talking about all this other stuff that does not matter. Meanwhile, all I got about my protagonist was beautiful and cooking eggs. Why am I invested in her? <laughs> you know, what? how is that interesting? Why would any actor who reads it say, I got to play her, right? So you're trying to give me some information that's going to give me a reason to invest in the rest of their journey. And you only get a very short amount of time. Okay, so if something doesn't happen within a five to seven minute, minute mark to show me why I should care about this scene. So then if we have this woman cooking um, these eggs and then maybe there's a knock at the door and it's um, you know some door-to-door -door, uh, salesman, that, so we think, and it turns out it's really a private investigator and they're uh, saying, you know, I have something for you and her life is about to change in mm -hmm. that moment. Mm -hmm. And she finds out that her life and what she thought it was wasn't really that. Mm -hmm. But we don't know in that moment. So everything seems calm and wonderful. And, you know, she's beautiful and she has this nice kitchen. But then the knock at the door is going to be what's going to upset the apple cart. Yes, but I want to make sure that we separate the two things, right? That, that upset of the apple cart can happen 15 pages in. It can happen 17 pages in. Everything that I'm getting up until that upset is what's making me invest in her. Why do I care that her life is going to change if I haven't learned anything about her life other than the fact that she cooks eggs, right? What information are you going to give me? Does she have a child that she's caring for, um, that they have a really great relationship with? Does she have a husband that she has a bad relationship with and she's just, today's the day they're supposed to go to ther therapy and she just really wants it to go well and then this thing comes in and interrupts that? right? So what information am I getting about this person's everyday life that's already worth investing in so that when the upset comes, I too can be upset. Like, no, she really needs to go to therapy today. She doesn't have time to deal with this door to door guy, you know, or no, her sleeping child is in the other room and she tried so hard to have children and she finally has one. And then here comes this person and are they posing a threat to the child that's in the other room? Right. And again, none of this has anything to do with eggs. So the question is, did we need to open with her cooking eggs? Like, what does that mean for her as a character? Or maybe it means everything because she's really a chef in another life, but because she decided to be a stay-at-home mom, you know, blah, 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 blah. Or maybe it means I'm always going to make sure my husband's eggs are great. We argue every morning, but these eggs matter today because we have therapy later and I want him to be happy when he gets to therapy, right? Now all of that stuff is making me invest in her. So when the person comes and knocks on the door, I understand, no, 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 we don't need this interruption. Like we don't need this to happen.